vine is to be found just north of Basingstoke. The vine was visited by Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn in 1535. At this time, the vine belonged to William Sandys, Henry's Lord Chamberlain. When water began to leak into the house, the National Trust set to work to save the collection from irreversible water damage. For a donation of £5, you can write a message or draw a picture on a tile that will go up on their new roof. As you are waiting in the queue for the lift to take you to the top of the roof, on the right hand side there are various tiles already written on, waiting to go on. Stepping out of the lift, you can appreciate the complexity of the job at hand. Over time, new buildings were added, which meant the roofs had to be integrated. waiting to be fitted on. The chimney stacks were leaning. So they removed the bricks one by one and rebuilt the chimney with stainless steel rods in between the bricks, just like a kebab. The old tiles are meticulously removed and inspected. I was always under the impression that the nails went through the back end, but no, it, they just nails just hook on. One of the big problems with roofs is ventilation and fire. This has to be taken into account when building the roof. What a wonderful opportunity to see the repairs of a Tudor roof up close. Dave Smith reporting for Davro International.